Previously, we looked at manually creating the whistle document. And personally, I think we'd rather not do that ever again in our professional Java developer careers. Thankfully, if we have the XSD document, we can use Spring Web Services to automatically generate the whistle for us. In this tutorial, we will generate the outline SOAP Spring Web Services project inside IntelliJ using the Maven archetype. This slide shows the Maven command line instruction on how to create a Spring Web Services project. We will now use IntelliJ to demonstrate how to use the Maven archetype to create our SOAP Spring Web Services project. Having a look at the Maven repository, we see that the latest and greatest version of the Spring Web Services archetype is release 2.14 and it's dated October 1, 2013. So we will use this version to generate our Spring SOAP Web Services project. We select File, New, Project. Here we select Maven and Create from Archetype. Then we select Add Archetype. Here we are going to plug in the values that we got from the Maven repository website. Select OK. Select Next. And our own projects, group ID and artifact ID. We will keep the defaults in all the Maven options here. Change our project name. Change our location. Select Finish. Say OK. We'll open it in the current window. Popping up with Maven projects need to be imported, so we'll select Enable Auto Import. Popping up with Web Frameworks Detected, so we will select Configure. Now it says No Frameworks Are Detected. Okay, now we see a bold success down here, which means our Maven archetype ran successfully. So we can have a look at our structure. It's created the POM file for us, a basic outline structure with a web app with the web XML and the Spring WF servlet XML. Now we saw the web.xml pop up, so we can use IntelliJ. To inspect that, we'll go to our project structure and look at our module settings. And let's look at modules. Let's go to Spring. Let's see. It says unmap Spring configuration files, Spring WS server.xml. So let's add that. And apply it. We will look at the web and it's found our context root and the web XML. So it looks like it picked that up automatically. And now we have our basic vanilla project structure ready to go.